So you just got a new resin 3D printer and are really excited to slice some cool stuff. But to your disappointment in searching for a slicer, almost every one that you come across has a monthly fee and is proprietary in some way. Sure, you can get a free version of the software, but you would much rather use a slicer that can be freely used without any limits. To solve this issue, we're going to use Prusa Slicer, along with a tool called UV Tools. These two software packages will allow slicing for dozens of 3D resin printers on the market. First thing to do is install Prusa Slicer. Since I'm using a Mac, this is particularly straightforward. All I need to do is drag and drop to install. I'm going to open up the software to verify everything installed correctly. After this, I'm going to open up the Configuration Assistant and make sure the original Prusa SL1 is selected. After this, I can close. Next up is UV Tools. Go to the UV Tools GitHub page and navigate to the operating system you are using. In my case, since I'm using a Mac, I just need to copy and paste a single line of code into the terminal for the software to auto-install. After UV Tools is installed, click on the Help menu. Select Install Profiles into Prusa Slicer. On the left, you see a list of profiles. Select them all. On the right, you see a list of available printers. Since I'm using the Saturn III Ultra, I will select that. Click Install Selected Profiles. After this, select Yes. At this point, you can restart Prusa Slicer. Back in Prusa Slicer, I've imported a model of the Eiffel Tower. If you navigate to the printer menu on the right side of the screen, you can now see that we have a new printer. This is the printer from UV Tools. Let's go ahead and slice this. After slicing is complete, we are going to export this in an SL1 format. Next, drag and drop the resulting file into UV Tools. In addition to loading the file into UV Tools, the software will automatically convert the file into a format recognized by the printer. For the Saturn III, this file is a .goo format. Great, at this point you can put the file on a thumb drive and transfer it to your printer. Here's me testing it out, and it works. Once again, thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. It really keeps me going and makes me motivated to make more videos. All the best. Thank you for watching.